we have the uh, information on hurricanes in North Florida. Let's zoom out to the hurricane grid. We have more information here than we really need uh, or want. I'm really only interested in the area on top of my land here and the reason being that uh, I'm going to add some additional information such as damage to property uh, attributable to the hurricane, rainfall, whatever. Reduce the set so that we are only looking at the data that is over land. Select by location, so I'm selecting the hurricane grid. If it's on top of touching or contained within the uh, Florida boundary file that I've created. Hurricane grid North Florida, create that set. Okay, now with our grids being selected that are within the state of Florida, I will export tools, export to a standard geographic file. And we'll call this Hurricane Grid 4. Add the layer to the map. Remove my previously made grid. And move my grid 4 upwards in the order of the draw. Zoom out to that grid. And there we have a grid for North Central Florida of hurricane pressure and wind converted from vectors to cells that are 6 by 6. And here is a sample of what my data looks like. Now to analyze this information, one is we have our visual representation and we can also Since we had wind knots, we can also associate it with uh, wind pressure. So here we have a multi-theme map. Generally, you don't want to have more than, than uh, two, uh, two themes on a map. But here we have the location of Alachua County. Uh, the boundary of the state of Florida. We have the average wind in knots, uh, which is shaded in brown. So the darker the brown, the greater the uh, average wind speed. And then as the blue circles, we have the average pressure. Well, we can export this. First of all, I'm going to save this as a workspace. and bring up my data view and I'm going to export this file save as and I will save it as an Excel file and I'm done with Mathitude go into Excel 